All right, it is Monday, April 24th. We are currently at Camp Freedom 2. Um, it's a really windy day with the sky overcast and dark. So it looks like it's getting ready to pour. I mean, really, really pour. And I'm out here um, to try to finish up the last of the roofing and to try to install the mosquito netting on the yurt. Just wanted to point out this little chair base that I found the other day that I'm planning on possibly cutting this board to make a little sitting stool for the camp. I don't know if we're going to leave it here or if we're going to take it to the yurt. We might end up taking it to the yurt since it's already seating here and this is looking pretty crowded in here. The reason is that um, that little chair thing right there that I brought here previously, it's broken and if you try to sit on it, it kind of fall apart. I don't know if that was a bird that just flew out of here. I think that was a bird. With a bird or something here that just flew out. I wonder if birds have made a nest in here or something. <laughs> I have it so blocked off nobody's been able to get in. So we're here to um, work on the yurt, but I just wanted to point out the little chair that we got. I didn't bring any more tires today, but I did find this, which I picked up. It's a bit busted. I got myself cut on it. But I managed to haul it back here. It was kind of hard because it kept flying off the, the top of the vehicle. But I got it here. I don't know if we're going to leave it here or take it out to the yurt. Probably not going to use it to put trash in because I don't want to encourage leaving a lot of trash out here. We want to kind of take trash out every day that we're here and leave. You know, you don't want to leave trash here for the animals to rummage through. But this might be able to be used for water catchment or something. If we line it with several thick bags of um, garbage bags or something. But it, ideally I'd have a lid for it and I don't have a lid so. Anyhow it is getting ready to storm so I'm probably going to have to quickly head back there and begin working because I don't know how much time I have left before the uh, clouds open up here. Alright as you can see I'm, I'm pretty um, heavily loaded up right now with supplies and whatnot. But per the request of Leonard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual route to get from Camp Freedom 2, from the hut, to get to the location of the yurt. And it's kind of embarrassing because, if you guys recall my first day back there, I got like totally lost. and was stuck out there almost 30, 45 minutes wandering around trying to figure out how the heck to get out. And um, it turns out it's really not that far from the camp, even though... It does look like it. Let me double check my vehicle here and make sure everything is uh, secured before I go. Right, the vehicle has been secured, so we're gonna go ahead and begin our journey back here into the wilds. Looks like somebody's sunshade or something, visor. I don't know if you can see those droppings there. Those are pretty big. I don't know if you can see it, the scat right there. That, that's a big ass pile of scat which makes me think the um, panther or something big is coming out here through here through this open area possibly looking for the um, water so we're gonna go ahead and um, head on back here all right this is the area here that we saw the tire, which I still haven't removed. Thought I heard a noise. All right. This is uh, where I saw the snake the other day, actually, right over here somewhere. Right near the, the front entrance area. And carefully checking the ground because that's where the snake was. You can see that um, the path now actually looks like a path because I've been cutting it and clearing it and just walking on it so much that there's actually a path that you can see now, a walkway. So it's kind of hard to get lost. There used to be a bush here blocking the way, but I've cut through the bush, as you can see. Okay. 
And believe it or not, you can actually see the yurt from here. Yeah, that's how crazy close we were. But um, when I was out here the first time, I kept going round and round. <laughs> it's uh, pretty embarrassing, but... I think when you start to panic, and you're walking around and, and you end up at the same spot all the time, which I kept ending up over here. I was like, what the heck? We're going round and round. So this is the yurt from the back side. Camp's just over there. It's just like uh, less than what, 50 yards? Although I see here, this is um, the marshy area that we're gonna probably be exploring here soon. this marsh I think at one time there used to be water here and these I think I don't know if the mangroves I don't know what these are willow I don't know maybe somebody else knows but this used to be a, a ditch I think or a water uh, path for water, but it's all dried out and overgrown now and um, I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to explore through here or not because of all these it's I don't think we can cut through this You could kind of walk through it, but it Might be better to cut a path alongside This is kind of bad crap Get The heck out of here all right, so we're back at the camp. Not the camp, but the yurt. And um, it actually looks like everything kind of held up so far. The roofing looks like it stayed intact, believe it or not, even though it's, uh, as you can see, pretty windy. I did bring some, um, some glue adhesive to try to secure everything a little bit tighter. Like, see how there's little gaps right there in the holes? We're going to spray the adhesive and seal everything down if we can today. If not, um, we'll do it another day. But definitely want to seal stuff like this where it's flying up. You can see the roofing here fly up. So we want to spray that and seal that down. So, and I can see water up here, so it's sprinkling already. Looks like it's going to rain. And that adhes adhesive isn't supposed to be used in the rain, so I'm looking here, and I don't know if that's more digging right there, or if that's just a part. I don't. That's probably not digging. That's probably part of where I had placed the um, the machete the other day. It's like gloomy out here. Very, very overcast. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started.